Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna do some more devil boats tonight. Uh, we're gonna get really getting into this. So um, I don't have a whole lot of time tonight, so I figure maybe we'll do a mission. Um, it is July 4th, 1943, the evening of. We are, uh, actually after this mission, we will have to rest one day. Um, but we're still full complement of boats, so we're gonna go uh, try this. Okay, um, just updated charts and everything. Joe had a couple of charts out there I didn't know about that uh, will make the uh, air uh, patrols a little harder to locate us outside of the red zones. But as I mentioned online, uh, I just keep rolling tens on them, so there's, it, they're not going to really slow down for me. Um, but hey, that's the game. Somewhere along the line, the dice will change, right? <laughs> anyway, um, July 4th, 1943. We're going to roll for a malaria check. 2d10, 40, which will be 14. No malaria. All crewmen okay. Go to A1. Weather check. Run one die 10. Four. Good. So we're going to have good weather. And uh, the other thing is that I just went through and redid all my... Um, charts so hopefully they're a little clear they are for me um, there's a couple of updated ones so I've changed some things around as always uh, mission assignment 1d10 4 we're gonna have an offensive patrol because my my supply delivery did not work very well so I'm kind of happy about that uh, not the supply delivery not working well about having an offensive patrol maybe we can do something um, so, <clears throat> we're going to look at our mission assignment zone, which will be zone 5. We haven't gone that way yet, so it would probably behoove us to go to Gizo Strait instead of Ferguson Strait. Um, P2 boats assigned in a mission, offensive patrol, we got all of them, so um, we will have four of them. Our reserve is, in, is going to be used on this one, so uh, that will be our boat four. So we're going to go ahead and make sure all four boats are there. And um, we take off. Uh, we're going to see if our a base gets bombed as we're taken out of here, and we roll a one. No enemy air attacks this night, <clears throat> and so, and I, I mean all about this. I like like the artwork that they included in this the rules, so um, I include them in the charts that I put in here. Because like this is all for me anyway, um, but uh, I really like the artwork and stuff, so I want to keep it as much to the rules as I possibly can. And again, I can't share this, so please, right now, um, don't ask. Hopefully, I'll get a hold of Compass when I'm, like, where the module's at without the charts. And um, let's see if they'll let me share it, but right now it's not ready. And I can't send this out because uh, you wouldn't need to buy the game. So, that's my spew. Five, C-State, C-State 2. Random events, these hurt me too. Zero nine, we're almost there. Um, IGN Air Patrol, all zones. This is one of the new ones. Uh, it's plus one for good weather now, but we get a plus two um, in a red zone, so it'll be a little harder. Um, so, we're in a green zone, minus one, plus one for good, so it's going to be a 10. And we roll a four, so we don't get that. And that means that we just shoot right on into zone two. In zone two, we're going to roll for a C state. We get a nine, which would be C state of three. We will go on to random events. We roll a 76. There'll be none. Air, air patrol contact. Seven, again, will be none. And we roll into zone one yellow. 
in zone one yellow we roll for the C state C state two none we roll for a random event none we roll for air patrol one none and we move into zone four in zone four we're going to roll for the C state six it's going to be two random event 55 there'll be none air patrol two there'll be none we roll into zone five C state in zone five will be one random event will be 77 none air patrol roll is seven that'll be none and we roll into zone six in zone six we roll for the C state four that will be a get my act together here uh, one stays the same we'll roll for a random event oh here we go I cannot avoid them at a random event go to a 15 a 15 we roll 2d 10 we get a four Radar fails. Radar is disabled for the remainder of the mission. All negative modifiers apply. So we have our first damage. All right. And we need to put that on. I think there's a. I think there's a. Yeah, radar out. Let's see, I think there's a uh, counter for that. All right. Um, so, what's well, not good? Uh, we go back to main table. And we roll for the air contact. One. At least we're not getting that. And that gets us into our offensive patrol. So we enter into um, zone five. We can stay in here four turns. We're gonna roll for a uh, C state, which is five. It goes up to two. We roll for a random event, none. We roll for our IGN air patrol. Um, we're at medium speed. Weather's good, plus one. Red zone, plus three, two. Total plus three. <laughs> so we get an air patrol contact right off the bat. We would have gotten that no matter where we were. Um, and I'm all right with that. That's the first one. So be it. Um, so we now go to um, chart B1. And we roll a D10. And that's a 1. So we're going to have an Aichi E13. And I forgot to rename that. I put that wrong in there it's no big deal really but um d10 for crew skill five will be average and he's going to come at us with strafing attack all right and we got all four boats this time so we'll put us all good weather in long range And we will go to defensive uh, spotting. Um, weather, I mean, uh, the, the, the modifiers. Um, radio is not disabled, radar is. Um, we don't get anything for that. The weather's good. PT boats and squadron, we have four. We have one eagle eye, that's five. So we're going to roll plus five. Nine, we're going to spot that aircraft, which is good. Um, defensive fire, so we're going to roll four times um, for each uh, operable gun. So um, C state is two, so let's see. Oh, yes, we spot him. We are definitely going to fast. Um Minus one for fast. Plus one for C state of two, so that's zero. C 
so um, we need tens. First two do our stern and the bow, both miss. Uh, st uh, bow gun is possibly jammed. Oops, not that. That. And we unjam it. So uh, we missed, uh, jammed, and unjammed. Now our two AA guns, eight and a two, both of those miss. We go to defensive fire off of uh, boat two. And uh, four die on him, and again, minus one, plus one, so zeros, we need tens. He misses and misses, boat three, misses and misses, boat four, misses and misses. Where are those tens now? Um, so we do nothing to him. He comes in on the starfing attack, because I can't type. And um, he needs to roll a d10 for each boat. We successfully spot him, but we did not hit him at all. 16 shots, and we couldn't put one on him. Um, we are fast. That's a minus one. We did spot him. That's minus two. So um, he, he needs 10. And we're going to roll for boat one. Misses. Boat two. Misses. Boat three. Misses. Boat four. Misses. Good. Now we'll see if he drops a star shell on us. So, <laughs> yes, he does. Here comes the star shell in another round. So we drop a star shell on the map, and we go back to the beginning. Um, we're already spotted, so we'll go to defensive fire. Um, goes back to boat one. We need tens. And um, we'll, we'll roll four times. Two, whoa, two tens. So we got two hits. So we need to go um, roll right here twice. Uh, first one is nine, one damage point. Second one is nine, one damage point. And that is against an Aichi, Aichi, Ichi, Ichi. I'm not sure. A Jake. Let's go with Jake. And we will have two hits on him. All right. Now. Boat two will fire. Oh, no. We still got to do our two AA guns. That was our first two shots. One and an eight. Le left hand AA jams. And we clear it. Boat two fires. Misses. Misses. Boat three fires. Misses. Misses. Again, we need tens. And boat four fires. Misses. And misses. <laughs> well, at least we hit him. Um... comes in with the strafing attack um, minus two because we did hit him this time minus three for us being fast minus four for being spotted needs tens boat one misses boat two misses boat three misses boat four misses does he drop another star shell two no he does not and he takes off Excuse me, sorry about that. So that is our um, air patrol. Now we go for conduit in the red zones. Um, if radar is disabled or radio operator is, so we got a minus one. We got a minus one because we air patrol encountered. That's minus two. C state is two. So we're going to be back to minus one. So minus one on the die roll. So we need tens. Roll ones. Miss nothing. Um, we go to IGN shore guns. Um, if offense patrol, good and poor weather only. Yes. So. Uh, we need 9 or 10. We roll once. 
nine. We do have contact with enemy guns. So we're going to bring in the special missions. And I didn't realize it used PT boat two last time. I don't know. Somehow it got flipped over. That's one. Two. Three. Four. We start at long range. We can get rid of all this. That's the one I ran away from. Um, so we go to possible contact, A, A B, C. Offense patrol mission, go to table C1. We're going to do, con we're going to try to, uh, combat this one because we really need to get some some damage and stuff um, I'd rather go after a convoy but um, I'm gonna stay at medium speed too let's go for it we need to get some action in here um, we will go for guns first roll a d10 to see enemy machine guns Five will be two MG nests. And sorry about the noise. Two MG nests. One and two. And then we're going to roll 1D10 for sure guns. We get a. Oh shit. Nine. Maybe I don't want to do this. Three sure guns. Maximum amount. Give me some uh, poor rolls on the crew then. Um, crew skill level. I take them. I'm still not sure if MGs get them or not, so I'm going to do them for everybody. I think they do. And if not, then I've just wasted some rolls. Green. Eight is veteran. The sh first sure gun is 7, average. Second sure gun is 10, elite. Third sure gun is 1, green. Okay, I can deal with this. We can work with this. Um, we're staying medium speed. Uh, PT boat squadron, range zone movement, move PT, PT squadron into the next range zone or zones on the combat board as needed. Now, my understanding is, according to the rules, is that if we don't want to, you don't have to move. You're considered roaming around in that zone. Um, I will pull the rules up just to make sure I'm reading them right. And that is this one right here. We'll open that with... Ah, damn it. That's going to lock up. I meant to do that with my browser. My um, recording software conflicts with Adobe Acrobat, so I cannot use that. All right. Medium range. Medium speed. Medium speed. Fast speed can move all the way up. Medium speed, one. Slow speed, one. Maximum speed. Medium speed direction change in one. Medium speed maximum movement. So on the first combat round, uh, we can only move one at medium speed, but that's all right. I don't want to get in close range anyway. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, we don't have to. May travel at slow, medium, or fast if the sea state or so allows it. During the first combat round on the combat and special mission board, the PT squadron starts out in a long range. Um, Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah, according to the rules, it says you may move into three new ranges or two new ranges. Um, if no direction for changes are performed, um, you know, it's in roles and all kinds of things usual for that combat round. Yeah, after entering the medium range zone, the, the uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Yeah, you can stay. You can stay in according to the way I'm understanding it. We can go and stay at a speed, regardless of whether we move in and out of the uh, zone. We're considered more moving around within that zone. I'm going to stay at medium speed. I am going to move into medium range, <clears throat> and I do believe that we are red zone sure gun. Yes, automatically detected. So. Um, we are going to go to MG Nest, Sure Gun, PT, Target Selection, 1D4 for him. So he will be firing. And 4. He's going after boat 4. Alright, we're going to go right on from left to right. MG Ness fires um, two times of elite crew. He's green. Um, crew is green minus one. Uh, C state is two. So he's zero. So zero, um, so that means 10, he's gonna hit. So fire once for him, misses. We'll go to MG Nest two. He is veteran, plus one, C state two, plus one. We're fast, minus one, so it's plus one. So a nine or 10 will get him a hit. He rolls going after us, boat one. And he rolls once, five misses. We go to the shore guns. These are the scary ones. First shore gun. He fires four. He's going after boat four. And they are average. Well, minus one for being fast. Plus one for a C state of two. So that will be zero. Needs ten. He misses. Next shore gun. He is elite. He can fire twice. He's going after boat three. Uh, minus one. Plus one is zero. Plus two for being elite. So eight, nine, or ten. Firing twice. Nine. He gets one hit. If PT boat 2 4 hit by MG nest, roll 1d2. If PT 4 2 to 4 are hit by sure gun, right there, uh, roll 1d10 to determine type and amount of damage PT boat sustained. So we roll 1d10. 10, oh boy. Critical hit. PT boat explodes and is destroyed. All surviving crewmen immediately abandon ship. That sucks, because now I'm going to lose more points. Uh, and I got to fill this out, too. Reset this. Um, no, we're not going to get out of that. Damage. I don't think there is a sunk one. We'll just move him out of the way. And we'll 
we'll go to our sheet and P24 is sunk. And we will come up here and put a crew in the water. We got to go rescue them now. Not very good. Um, okay, uh, next next gun. He's green. He's going to need a ten. He only fires once, and shoo, got a got away with that one. Now, PT boat one offensive fire machine gun nest shore gun targets. Um, we're going to go for. Let's go for Mr. Elite right there. I'm going to target him. Um, we're medium range. We are fast, minus one. Plus one for the C state, so it's zero. So we need ten, and we're going to roll four times. Four and a three misses. Five and a two misses. All right, vote two. If two sure guns are present, uh, three sure guns are present, we got to roll a d6. Four, he's going after sure gun two, which is the elite one. Um, fire four times per PT boat, and again, we are zero, so we need tens, four times, seven and three, miss, ten, there we go, we got a hit, um, if we hit A, B, roll one die six, a possible hit, oh boy, and we get a hit. Uh, that's on the other one right here. We've got to fill out our paperwork. Come on, Greg, get your shit together here. Okay, um, sure gun. We got a hit on sure gun two. And um, that brings up boat three. Boat three, we'll go back to targeting. Um, three sure guns are present. We're going to roll... D6, 5, he's going to go after the greenie. He's going to need 10s. So we roll 4 times, looking for 10s. And uh, we miss. So, sure gun assistance request, enemy air support. We roll 1, there'll be no enemy aircraft for him. Uh, where nobody's in close range. The current round, combat rounds once all units have fired their weapons. If any guns remain, the next combat will begin if the P2 boat squadron chooses not to disengage. One thing I got to look at, and I'm going to pause real quick while I check it, is to see how we rescue that crew now, because now I'm committed. And we have to um, have to rescue them before we go out. Um, I'm gonna pause this quick so I can look. I'll be right back. All right, I'm putting a call uh, feelers out to Joe on that. I, the uh, chart says. Here, if we uh, go down, let's see, I was just reading it, and I got my act back together. Um, oh, because I'm in the wrong one. No. Hit by that, critical, oh, of course I rolled that. All surviving crewmen immediately abandoned ship. PT's discerning five or more crew damage point. Oh, the system turned up, they may not move for the remainder of the mission. Are disabled, but we are sunk. 
current yeah if PT boat sinks oh, we immediately abandon ship um, place blue PT counter in current range zone and remove PT boat counter if we did that PT crew may be rescued go to section G 1344 and G 13 just re um, um, refers to PT number one and says that if it sinks you got to roll for each crewman but we don't really do crewmen on the two to four so I put a feeler out to him to see how I'm supposed to play that one we'll just leave them marinate in the water for a little bit while we try to figure out this combat because uh, we can't leave them and I don't think it's as easy as we just stop and pick them up with guns firing at us um, so we will start round number two. Um, it sucks because I really don't want to face these guns. That you can see what happens. They took one boat out already, um, and I'm probably going to get a, get uh, drummed out of the navy for doing this. That's good. I'm a marine anyway, so um, let's see. Well, movement. We're going to stay at medium. We're going to be, what I envision is us swirling around in the medium range, firing every gun. Um, we don't want to go closer than that. With that lead up there, I think I will up my speed to fast. I mean, we're firing looking for 10s anyway. So we might as well make them fire tens um we are detected so we're going to go to the machine gun nests and he is going to target four which is turns to us now and he needs let's see we're going fast to minus one Cruise green minus two. C state two plus one, so we're at minus one. So he needs to get a ten, natural ten. We're going to just roll once. Oops, once. Six, he misses. Uh, the veteran, um, fast. Minus one. Plus one for C state of two. Veteran plus one. So he needs a nine or a ten. Minus one. Plus one. Zero. Plus one. So plus one. Yeah, he needs a nine or a ten. So yeah, we need to do that. We need to do that fast. We probably ought to run out the long range, but I don't want to abandon these guys. So he gets to roll once, and he's going after boat number three. And he misses. Um, sure gun one. He will go after boat number four, which is us, then. Um, we're fast. C states two, so he needs a ten. One misses. The scary one. Uh, fast. Two is zero. And he is elite. So eight, nine, ten. I think I gave us fast last time. Sounds like I'm getting the same modifiers. Um, so he's gone after us and he needs an eight, nine, or ten. He gets a seven. He misses. And. Uh, Three is going to fire. He were fast. He's green. He needs ten, and he's going after boat number two. And he rolls a five. He misses. Now it's our time for a little payback. Um, I'm going to go after Mr. Elite again because I want him out of there. He's the scariest. Um, so we're going to fire four times. We, uh, minus one, plus one is zero, so we need tens. Nine and a seven, both missed. There we go, we got a ten right there, so that's a possible hit. Now we need a 
a um, six to hit. A four to six. And we got it. Good. That, I believe, knocks him out. Yes, it does. So, IGN gun number two is out. Let me go under my log sheet. That'll help offset a little bit. Our loss and failure. Um, so, we'll get rid of him. And then boat number two. He's got a target. Um, there are only two sure guns left, so um, it's going to be one to three, six. He's going after sure gun two. The green crew wouldn't be my choice, but we got to roll four times, and we're looking for tens. And we miss, and boat number three is going to go after... Same one. I'm going to fire four times. He hits, possibly, and does. That's one hit on him. And one more round of rolls, and he misses. So, man. I might just move us out to long range and come back in because um, they're still risky to hit us. And we're firing at 10 and some of them are firing at 8. Medium range, we can turn one and go back one. So I'm going to do that. We're going to go to long range this time. Um, we'll start with the machine gun. Uh, Nest one firing, he's going to target me and long range. It's minus three, minus four, plus one is minus three, so he needs a ten. Oh, Jesus, and he got it. Um, so MG Nest hits us. Um, it's, if a PT-1 is hit by MG Nest, go to table G1 to determine hit sustained. Roll once for each shell hit. So we roll once. That's not horrible. Five. Superficial. No effect. There we go. Number two. Number two will target us again and he needs a 10 and he rolls a 9 sure gun number 1 he's going after I'm going to keep this over here just so I remember which is which he's going to go after 3 minus 3 minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 so yeah that's a lot better we we are going to make them fire at us at long range and get 10s. He gets a 5 misses. This guy's going to target me, and he gets to fire once needing a 10 and misses. So, I'm going to fire. we got to go after sure guns. We've already got one hit on the greenie. We might as well go after him again. We need 10s. We got one right there, but we didn't get the hit. Second round, misses, PT boat two, he's going to go for, it'll be the greenie again, he gets four rolls for ten, he gets a hit, yes, and it is a hit, so the green gun goes down, so I'll put two short guns now, and log, knock that off on my log, okay. And we'll go on to, we can't split fire, it's got to be the same target, so he's gone. We will bring up PT Boat 3, he has no choice but to fire at him. Uh, short guns are always a priority over machine gun nests. 
Um, he gets four shots looking for 10. Misses, misses, and misses. So, we're going to keep doing this. Um, I am not afraid to stay out here. Not right now. We've got to rescue these guys anyway. We're going to stay at long range. That's my new tactic. Um, learned the hard way. I probably should have done that in the beginning. But, uh, hey, I'm stubborn. Or actually was a novice and didn't realize it, how quickly we learn. Um, machine gun nest number one will target. Uh, we're going to stay where we are. We're just wandering around out here or flying around out here at long range. Um, we're detected. He's going to, first one's going to fire at boat number three. He's going to need a 10. I'm not even going to look modifiers. I know with that minus three for long range, they all need 10. So he fires once, misses. Machine gun nest number two is going to go for two. He fires and misses. Sure gun number one will go for two. He fires and hits. Mother. Mm. Okay. Um. Oh, I forgot floor gun, sure gun assistance too. Ten. Nine. So yes, we would have an airstrike to have to deal with too. So we got to go to B1 real quick. That was before any of this happened. Though I got a little ahead of myself. I did, I did, I did. And it's a Kawanishi AK, which is a harsh one, too. Uh, enemy, Kawanishi, HAK. We're just going to go ahead and put him here. We're going to roll to see his crew skill, which is average. We're going to roll to see what he attacks us, which, which is bombs. Um, spotting. We need plus one, plus four, plus five. So we are going to add five, six. <laughs> Boy, he's going to come in and knock us apart. Um, we're fast, minus one. Plus one because he's an HK is zero. So um, he needs tens. Boat one, misses. Boat two, misses. Look at these high numbers. Boat three, misses. So he misses his bombs to see if he drops a star shell. No, he does not, and he will disappear. We're going to have to roll for separation now. Just enough to mess everything up. Uh, minus one for uh, weather is good. Plus one for fast, that's zero. Um, boat one is going to have a plus two. So boat one, we're in formation. Everybody else needs a ten. And they both pass. So that takes care of the plane. Now we can go back and fire at the shore guns. They already fired at us and missed. We were going to fire at them, and I remembered I did not do that. Um, that's what I get for not clicking through the uh, charts the way I should. All right, we're going to target the shore gun. We're going to roll four times. We need ten. We miss, and we miss. Boat two, targeting the shore gut, rolling four times, misses, and misses. Boat three, targeting the shore gun, misses, and misses. Jesus. 
And um, so we go to shore gun assistance request again. And we roll one. There'll be no boat, no uh, air. Uh, nobody's in close range. And we're going to keep coming at them because we've got to rescue these guys. So it means we're going to have to go back in. So let's um, keep this raging battle up. And he goes for three. Needs a ten. Misses. This MG goes for two. And misses. Oops. Says misses. And I never even rolled the dice. Good one, Greg. Uh, sure gun uh, firing at boat number one. Seven misses. Our turn for some paybacks. We're going after the shore gun, roll four times, looking for tens. And we got a ten right there. And we got the hit. So let's see. He got one hit now, and we still got two more guns to fire. Missing there. Boat two is going to fire four times at him. Missing and missing. And boat three is going to fire four times at him. Missing and missing. Jesus, this is going on forever. All right. Um... We got to keep going in there. We're going to try for the aircraft uh, assistance seven. That's close enough to check. No, no aircraft uh, um, assistance. So we come back in and go to MG Nest one targeting us. Needs a 10. Four misses. Machine gun nest two. Targets two. Misses. Shore gun one, targets four, which is us then, defaults to us if the uh, numbered boat is not there. And he misses. Turn the tide. We're going back after him. We're firing four times, missing and missing. Boat two, firing four times, missing and missing. Boat three, Firing, and we got a hit right there. Ah, but not enough. One more roll. And he gets another hit attempt. And this time we get it. Whew. So, he's down. Um, we got all three shore guns out of the way. We got to get this, got to get these two MGs now. All right, so, um, shore gun assistance. Once each combat round. Roll D10. One. No assistance. We go back around. We're staying at long because our modifiers did not get any better. Um, so we're going to stay at long range. Just keep flying around out there. And uh, he's going to fire at... Four, which is us. Oh, I got rid of my uh, target, didn't I? Dummy. So we need a more targeting marker. There we go. Okay. He's going after us. He needs a 10. Misses. P uh, machine gun nest number two is going after two. He needs a 10, and he misses. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Target's number two. Four times. We hit once and our stern gun jams. And is permanently out. And we got to read that to make sure that we know exactly what. I'm not very good about clicking back in here when I know the uh, charts. Um, gun remains jammed. Yeah, there is only one stern gun, so the stern gun is jammed. And let's see if I don't remember if there is a jammed gun out, anything like that. I know it's in here. So 
we will put stern gun jammed. 20 millimeters out. Okay, and then when our two AA guns. We miss. Oh, I forgot to roll my hit too. We did get a hit and a jam. And one of my AA guns just jammed too. We'll roll for his hit, which is a hit, so that MG is out. MG2, three shore guns, got a raging battle going on here, um, I gotta get rid of this cord, this is starting to drive me nuts, there we go, um, AA, that was the left side AA going, so we got one jam on there, we'll put one of them out. Which one is that? Left side. A A gunner two. That would be the stern. All right. Now, PT boat two is going to fire up and raw aimed at him. All tracers going inbound on him now. Four times looking for ten. Both all four miss. Boat three, all four miss. We roll for airplane assistance, or they do, and we roll a 10. That, that uh, aircraft arrives to assist the shore gun, so we go back to B1. Uh, we roll D10, we get an HE13A. Them, I don't mind because they're very easy to shoot down. All right, crew is four average, and he's coming after us with strafing. All right, and now we click over to spotting. We got three boats that's plus three, plus four for Eagle Eye. plus four and we roll a nine so we see him this time um, I'll fire first I have okay so we get the fire bow gun first we're fast minus one Plus one for C state of two. So we get a 10. We hit him. Just one roll first. One misses. Jams. <laughs> We're jamming all our guns today. Um, but we unjammed that one. Now we have um, the right side tripway or anti aircraft gun. The same thing. He needs a 10 misses now the left side is going to need a 10 also um even with the, because he's got the minus one but you can only have so many bad matter fires 10 the only way he's going to hit and he gets it holy shit nice so we hit the plane four <laughs> superficial damage but at least we hit it um two to four defensive fire they still get to uh, roll four times so Looking for tens, missing, 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 and three fires four times. Missing, 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 missing. So um, he comes in on his strafing attack. We did hit him. It was superficial, but we hit him. So that's minus two, minus three, minus four. Four successfully spotted. Minus four. So he needs a ten. And he misses us. Boat two, misses boat two, boat three, hits boat three. <sighs> Roll one die tem to determine PT damage to su sustained six. Systems damage one point on three. We are taking a beating today. 
All right. And does he drop a star shell? No. And he will fly away. Which takes us back to the shore gun combat. Oh, shit. No, it doesn't. We've got to roll for separation yet. Uh, minus one. We're fast. Plus one is zero. Our radio is disabled. Plus two. I mean, our radar is disabled. So, um, eight, nine, ten, we're separated. And we are not. And the rest just need ten. Two. Oh, he's separated. Of course he is. And um, so that was two, and he's immediately removed from there. And we'll put four up here and two up here. And uh, we need to go to A14 immediately. Ten. Um, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. He returns safely to base. Okay, and the last one, he rolls a nine. Jesus, where are these high numbers when I'm firing my machine guns or my, uh, my guns? Um, now. We can go back to um, combat. We have one gun left in there. We, we have to hang around and get him because we really want to rescue these guys. Okay, sorry about that momentary lapse of reason here. Um, dead air, nothing worse. I was reading something. Um, time to rescue Q. I keep seeing reference to that, and I'm not sure how to reference, how to, how to rescue them. So the only way I'm going to find out without breaking the rules is to to get this gun out of here and then and we're taking a beating for it now. I'll know better next time because I'm sure Joe will get back to me. He always does. Um, MG Nest Shore Gun Target. He gets one. He goes after us. He needs a 10. Misses. We start firing on him. We need, okay, here we go again. This is where it gets interesting because we have only three guns now and one of them is out. So we're looking for tents anyway. We roll three times. We're, our modifiers are so bad, we need tens. So first two shots, bow and stern. No, bow and just bow. Misses, now we'll do two AAs. They both miss. Boat number two needs four shots. Missing, missing. Missing, missing. Not good. Air. No air call. Uh, we're not close range. He's green. I think we're going to go in. Enough of this. All right. Um, movement. We're allowed to move two now. One. Do I want to go? I don't really don't want to go close. 
I might just, I think I am. I'm going to crank this down to medium, move to there. Um, he will target us. And needs, a, I think, a 10, but I better check because everything's changed. We're not fast anymore. He is green, minus one. Plus one for C state. So, yes, we um, are looking for, not looking for a 10. Eight, he misses. Now we're going to hopefully fire him up. We have three guns. We'll fire two of them. Um, let's see what our modifiers are. Uh, we're not fast. The one gun will get a minus one. We have a plus one for the C state. So plus one. Two of our guns can fire at nine. Nine or ten. So we're going to go with the bow gun first. Ten. He hits. And that does not really hit. Um, our right side anti-aircraft gun fires nine or ten he misses and our left side anti-air fires he needs a ten and he misses pt boat number two fires he needs nine or ten nine or ten so he gets fired four times looking for nines missing 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 jesus i thought for sure we'd get him on that one all right, they're going to call for assistance again, and they do not get it. We're not going to close anymore. We're going to stay at medium. Um, they're going to fire again at us, and he, he targets three. He needs a 10. He misses. We come after him. Boat number one will be firing again. We have three guns firing. Two of them need nines, so bow gun. Misses, right side anti-air, misses, left side anti-air needs 10, misses. Boat number two needs nines or tens, gets one hit, and that is it. That is the fatal hit. Machine gun nest is gone. Neglecting my paperwork again. All right, so now that we've done that, we can successfully pick up the crew and put them in our crew compartment. We're going to put them down in right there, uh, passenger one, and depart the area. And I don't think we should stick around anymore with 32 PT boats. So we're going to go ahead and head back for home. Go back to the main tables. A7, look for the C state in 6. That is 2. We're going to roll for a random event. Nothing. Air patrol. Plus 1. So 9 or 10. Miss nothing. Misses. Come on, Greg. Um, zone uh, 5, C State. 1. Will be 1. Random event. 11. We'll have none. Air Patrol looking for 9 or 10. Five nothing. Um, next one, C state in four will be one again. Random event. Oh, come on, I get more random events than five percent. I swear I do. Seventy, or actually seventeen. Scotch whiskey, you 
won a 12-year-old bottle of fine scotch whiskey in a poker game at base yesterday. Use this whiskey to bribe the base CEO if you ever find yourself about to be relieved of command. I might just need that this this day because we lost a boat and um, you got to roll for dismissal. So we got whiskey right next to us. We hope don't have to use that we can save that for another day but it's nice to have there that one i like thanks joe that's a good that's a good um um random event i'll take that one air patrol nine or ten nothing we move into the next zone sea state will be one again Random event, 68, none. Air patrol, 9 or 10. 1, none. We move into 2. Sea state, 8, 3. No, not 3, 2. Random event, 97, none. Air patrol, we're in green now, so he needs a 10. Nothing. We now move into 1. C state in the zone. Ten is three. Random event. One. <laughs> Come on. You've got to be kidding me. That's what three of them in this uh, in this mission. I've had like five or six of them in my campaign, and I'm only three missions in. Eleven. Speedy. Boom. An ammo loader is loading particularly fast this mission. Yeah, now I'm in zone one. That didn't help me any. And we check for air patrol. Eight, none. And we go to base. <sighs> That sucked. Well, at least we got some kills. We got uh, five kills. Nothing big, but uh, at least we got uh, something. PT boat damage. Um, repair times. I'm going to put that off to the side here. We'll go down through it. We can take that out now. Can, actually, that don't need to be there. That don't need to be there now. All right, damage. Okay, so we've got radar out. Radar E. Um, Ten points, because the radar went out for random event. 20-millimeter uh, cannon. 25. That's 35. And an AA gun each with an asterisk. 4550. So we're going to have to have one day for repairs. Which is not really going to matter because. 75. We're going to take a day off anyway have to take a day off all right now PT boat number three. Oh, we took uh, yeah that superficial hits not gonna matter much anyway um, let's see one, sorry about that, spacing things off. One four, he's got forty. So he he's still seaworthy. So we can reset this. Um, <laughs> sucks to be four, doesn't it? That was our reserve boat. That sunk. 
So uh, if sunk or abandoned, roll 2d10. That's the number of days until replacement rolls. <laughs> 14. I rolled good on that one, didn't I? So 14 days. That'll be the 19th. We'll get that back. All right. Yeah, all of a sudden we're not looking too good. All right. Um next. We'll go right on down the checklist here. We took out um two shore guns, three shore guns. One was elite, so that's 35 and two machine gun nests. Neither were elite. So 35, 45. So we got 45 positive victory points. We get no VPs for damage. Oh, okay. That's going to stay. No VPs awarded for damaging enemy units. That's just damaging. Abandon or sunk. Oh, that's the wrong. And crew camping. That's not part of me. Okay, abandoned or sunk. They're not. They're not the uh, KIA. So it's just this minus fifty. So plus 45 minus 50, we lose five victory points. Put this down to minus 90. Yeah, we don't even look there. Um, PT boot loss inquiry, inquiry and review. So we need to roll on this. So, no modifiers. We roll 2d20. That's uh, 19. Command retained. After thoroughly reviewing this PT loss incident, the base commanding officer decides that even though PT loss was unfortunate, you did everything in your power to protect the squadron boats and its men while performing under difficult circumstances due to my stellar service. <laughs> Uh, record the base commanding officer clears you of any wrongdoing PTK PT squadron command retained so I don't need to use my whiskey yet um, and that's going to be it for the day's mission 7 5 1943 will be a rest day because we can have no more than four concurrent uh, missions and we need to relax boats anyway we can reset that whole board Bring up this one. Um, seven five, he returns, and um, seven five, he returns. So we'll have a full complement of boats again. And we're only uh, two weeks away from getting our reserve boat. Yay! Um, that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me. We kind of were successful. I'll have to remember next time to stay out in long range. It takes a long time to get rid of the enemy, but uh, that's why we lost boat number four. So we don't want to be playing that game. Um, thanks for joining me. We'll see you all next time. That was Devil Boats, and that was mission number four. Stay crazy.